Hi, my name is Herman Serenays. I'm a uh, graduate of ASU, class of 69. I'm from a town about 50 miles northwest of Pittsburgh called Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Coach Cush at that time was recruiting in Western Pennsylvania because that's where he was from. I met Coach Cush. Uh, he stopped by the high school and uh, our head football coach, Coach Lindy Laurel, introduced me to him. I remember that outside it was snowing. Uh, and I asked Coach Cush, does it snow in Arizona? He goes, do you like snow? I said, no, not particularly. He goes, it doesn't snow. <laughs> I liked ASU from the first time I stepped my foot on campus in March of 65 when I was being recruited. I enjoyed the, the blue skies, sunshine, palm trees, and beautiful girls. My name is Rich Sika. I'm a graduate of the class of 69. I'm originally from New Jersey. I came here to play football at ASU, that's why I came to Arizona, and there were 5,000 of us. We were the largest entering class of Arizona State up to that point. Coach Cush was tough. Um, I think you can ask all of my compatriots that played for Coach Cush, whether they be Pennsylvanians or New Jerseyans or Ohioans. He demanded excellence from you, and that's one thing I learned. I always, uh, I always took that with me, uh, way past my college years. Uh, he demanded excellence from you. He demanded to have your mind engaged. And that's something I took with me the rest of my life, how important it is to be mentally focused. The best way for me to describe Coach Cush is he was very consistent. Didn't make a difference if you were an offensive lineman, which I was, or you were the star receiver, or the star quarterback. It didn't make a difference racially, who you were, Coach Cush treated everybody the same way. And you, you observed that. That was a very important uh, learning experience for me. We were playing, uh, I don't know, it was the sixth, seventh game of the year, my senior year in 1968, playing University of New Mexico. New Mexico did not have a very good team. By halftime, we were losing 28 to seven. So we go in at halftime and, um, you know, he's, he's very upset with us. But we came out in the second half and we ended up scoring 57 additional points. And I'll tell you what I took from that, and that is simply your mental engagement, your mental focus. I'm proud. I'm proud of the fact that I lasted. Uh, I certainly was not a first teamer, uh, but I'm, uh, I stuck it out. Coach Cush did put ASU on the map and appropriately. 50 years has passed and uh, uh, when you look back on it, uh, I realize it's not yesterday, but it always seems like yesterday. And to this day, um, a lot of those guys uh, are still very, very close to me and will always be. Uh, Herman Cernier, he's my son's godfather. And um, when you choose someone to be your son's godfather or your daughter's godfather, you want to make sure that that person espouses to your child the same kind of things that you would espouse to him. Couldn't find anybody better than Herman to do that. Arizona State has significance now. Uh, it has prominence. My degree is worth more in my mind today than it was 50 years ago. Coach Cush kept his promises. He said, you can have an opportunity to get an education and an opportunity to play football. And that's what he gave me. And I was always grateful for that, grateful to ASU, um, because it changed my life forever. Mm -hmm.